Lighting alert. We have a major light alert. It's oh, a lot better. Yo guys, it's Grant. I'm back and we have episode two of the Ethernet project coming at you right after this intro pretty much. So uh let's roll all the crap right now. Oh Lord, way to go, agents on my phone. We be on the road, like we on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure to check out Triton T Gaming. He does all my graphics and stuff and he's a really cool guy. Subscribe and follow him. Okay, so you saw all the you know the pre-roll and the intro which is i want to change up soon it's it's still pretty good but it's getting a little outdated in my opinion so yeah basically in this episode as you can see you know by the title like right under me right now is that um it's pretty much installing like an outlet i know it's it took a long time um uh, also because i didn't want to make this video too long um so basically you know we had to run it from upstairs the cable all the way to downstairs we had to you know wire up everything um, some would say it's boring, but honestly, I find it pretty cool. So, uh, just sit back, relax, get a, I don't know, cherry limeade, some popcorn, um, some chips, and just enjoy, uh, another part of wiring our house up with internet, because we've had it for like two or three months, and I just never have gotten to editing this. Okay. All right, to kick things off here, we are measuring stuff for a new outlet we were going to put in there so we could run power to uh, the little compartment thing we were going to make for our router and uh, modem combo. So here's measuring that out. A nice smile from my dad, the goat. Let's go. Uh, more measuring stuff out. Uh, then here's the switch or the outlet we were going to use uh, and to switch combo, you can see, for upstairs in our little cubbyhole spot that you'll see. Um, so we can turn on the light in there and use that for power for the switch upstairs. So here's uh, more snake measuring, stuff like that. And here's upstairs in our great room. Um, we had to take out a lot of the outlet stuff and test um, to make sure they were functioning correctly. And I had to call my dad, video call, um, so we could pull the snake up and uh, get so we had to pull the snake through so we could pull um, some cord down. So it ended up going on the other side, so we needed to unscrew that. I remember that. Again, this is when like April or May, so my memory is spotty here. Also, if you like this new microphone, uh, please give this video a thumbs up or comment nice mic or something, because I'm trying this out using the microphone for my camera. So uh, yeah. So we ended up taking that, that plate out and we pulled the snake out. And then uh, we had to pull the cord for uh, the, the cords we needed for the new outlet downstairs for the router power. We just used the snake, taped it to it, and pulled it down. So then we took out the outlet. So here's a new angle. What did we do here? I forget. Oh yeah, we had to take the complete like actual thing out. I remember that now. Sorry for the shaky quality too, by the way. That was, that was the only way to get a time lapse pretty much out of this. So then it looks like we're putting the whole thing back on because we had to access the snake stuff and get all the wires wired up correctly for adding an additional outlet. So then we cut open the sleeving and uh, revealed some of those wires. Cut those off because they were too long. And plug those into the outlet upstairs. Those are the ones from downstairs running to the, uh, the, the router outlet. And wired up those all correctly.
running the wire from that one outlet all the way to the one down here. You can see it right there, we pulled it through. And then we got some little uh, things to screw to the top um, pieces of wood to the uh, the beams to keep the you know cable management pretty good. It's also kind of dark, but you can get the gist of it. And then we ended up cutting some stuff off there, splicing what we needed. And then I remember, yeah, we had to look for a specific part. I forget what we were missing though. So I think it was like some sort of mounting screws. And then we started to wire those up. shut off power and test it out or turn on the power sorry we had to turn it off before because we were changing cables and everything turned out hope you guys enjoyed the ethernet project um it, it took quite a bit of time to edit this so uh i hope you guys enjoyed it another one is coming in i want to say at least like max another week so um also if you notice this is different i'm on the other complete side of my room my desk used to be right there so, uh, I actually kind of forgot I had this footage because I did it like a month ago, but I changed my setup completely. So I won't give it like too much away, but, uh, I will be editing that soon. Also, I have another idea of a video I want to make. So, um, I want to keep editing videos. Um, I haven't been doing it recently for some reason. This summer has been different than the last two or I haven't been just like grinding every week. So, uh, cause I've had like work driver's ed cause you know, I stay scooting. Like this video if you liked it, because you know, if you liked it, then you liked it. And this is gonna be an ongoing series. Um, and I don't wanna make it too long videos because you know, people don't have long attention spans. And especially for a small channel like me, you know, it, it makes sense. Subscribe for more of this guy in the ice and we will see you guys later. Peace. I got that